BBLA 51, turn right, heading 183. 014, Papa, turn right 245, report localised established. This is a title that will have largely left you stumped. However, the reasoning behind it is incredibly intriguing. Yesterday, Airbus announced exciting plans for its Beluga transporters in the form of a new cargo airline that it will allow them to capitalise on the higher than ever freight demand, which, since the pandemic, we've only seen rise and forecasts are also looking increasingly positive for the decades to come. The new cargo airline will make the most of the Beluga transporter's ability, being that of the older ST. This is the older version, once again to reiterate, that is currently being phased out thanks to the arrival of the newer Beluga XLs, as covered here on the channel extensively. The goal is by 2024, now two years away, for five of the transporters to be utilised for charter carrying large items, whether that be for aerospace, energy, maritime and much more. Airbus also notes that the new cargo operations will enable them to carry out crucial humanitarian missions while also aiding the military, so really it's going to be doing everything. Previously, the Beluga's iconic status within the industry wasn't necessarily all about its unique design, but rather its ability to transport large sections of passenger aircraft between factories within Europe. Obviously, this was a massive benefit for the European aircraft manufacturer when it came to producing their aircraft, whether that be the A350, their A320 and much more. While the new avenue for the older Beluga STs is definitely a landmark moment for Airbus, it will not be the first time they've conducted something similar, if you will. A test took place in December of last year, as noted in the release by the European aircraft manufacturer. This test saw the Airbus Beluga conduct a charter flight for Airbus helicopters to Japan. The customer that received the goods was undisclosed, however it was a very long journey for the aircraft with several refueling stops. Airbus, though, hopes to continue achieving this kind of mission when they probably roll out the freight brand, if you will. It's a decision that, of course, has been thanks to the increased demand and customers reaching out for the potential usage of the Beluga ST services, and is a way for Airbus to benefit of the aircraft's usage rather than seeing them head to the scrapyard. The head of ATI and Air Oversized Transport at Airbus said, the Beluga's wider cross-section will open up new markets and new logistical possibilities for customers. For example, in the case of loading helicopters, not having to dismantle them first really is a plus. Similarly, the largest commercial aircraft engines can be accommodated in a fully dressed configuration, adding the new airline will be flexible and agile to address the needs of external worldwide markets. The aircraft manufacturer has already listed several destinations worldwide where it believes they'll fly through. So what do you make though generally of the decision by Airbus to launch this new freight airline? You can let me know down in the comments section below. I personally think it's incredibly intriguing and I'm excited to see the results in the coming years as we officially see Airbus launch with once again to reiterate five of those Beluga STs and their goal is by 2024. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do take care and be safe. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.